Don't be a stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't cover your eyes We'll love trees Know you better than anyone else It's time you let your guard down For someone like me I'd say I'm settled And pretty calm I don't storm in the storm If not me, then someone like me That knows what to do and how to take care of you But most of all that deserves you Red sheep I'd ever seen You stand beside me in every dream Angel goddess You cover them all Say, what can I do to get you to fall For someone like me Deserves you Go with someone like me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is another day in the life. So I'm spinning around here, I'm trying to find like the best lighting for you guys. Um, current state in Michigan, <laughs> it's supposed to be almost 60 today. So it's going to be cloudy. I think it might even rain today, which we are so like rained out here. It's the, the yard, our yard, our mud is soaked. But we do have some grass poking up, which is very exciting for us because, you know, we were afraid that our grass wasn't going to come in. But it is. You know, if we could get, like, a good week of some dry, warmer weather, I think, there we go. I think it would, um, we'd get more grass in. Because we had those two days of weather that was, like, upper 60s, 70s. The grass, like, started poking out in the backyard. The front yard, I haven't seen any grass at all. Which kind of worries me, but anyway. So, anyways, this is day in life. It's a Tuesday, so that means we have martial arts later. Um, got up kind of, kind of late this morning. You know, normally I get up like around nine o'clock, get my day going, but today um, I'm kind of. I think I got some sinus. I think I got some allergy stuff going on. We had a really busy weekend. We had some Saturday was a very fun, exhausting day for us. Um, so I think that might be it too, just, you know, cause Sunday we literally vegged out all day, um, cause Saturday was a really exciting day for us. And, um, yeah, so I need to catch up. So Sunday I did nothing. Usually Sunday, um, we kind of, you know, we do like the church and then we kind of do some things around the house. So I didn't do anything Sunday. 
Um, yesterday, Monday, I went grocery shopping. I had a bunch of running I had to do yesterday. So I wasn't able really to, didn't really get much done yesterday. I didn't do any laundry yesterday, which Monday is usually my laundry day to get the clothes going. Usually I do like coal and then um, I do our laundry today. So I'll do our laundry today. Um, Cole's laundry is actually pretty good, so I don't need to do it. Um, but I'll probably have to do it later in the week. So he has clothes. But yeah, so I just did the kitchen up. We, uh, Mike had a, a work lunch thing, a work dinner thing. So Cole and I had pizza last night and I was late, you guys. And I put the food away and kind of picked up the kitchen, but I didn't do like the dishes. I didn't empty the dishwasher or anything like that. So I did that this morning. I wanted to get that done first thing. So now my kitchen is nice and picked up on the side, but I still have like all this stuff to put away. Um, my pantry is getting full and I am so itching to do, we gotta do those shelves soon because I need that extra space to put my stuff. Cause I decided I'm not gonna make an area in the basement. I originally was gonna do a, like an area in the basement where I could put like my canned goods and stuff like that. But I'm like, I really don't want to have to utilize the basement for anything like that. I want it all right here so I don't have to, cause you know, cause then stuff gets forgotten and I'm not good at that. When it's far away, if it's in another part of my home, like in our condo, then it gets forgotten and then I throw stuff away and then I feel bad because I'm wasting stuff and yeah. So, so I went to Aldi's, I went to Walmart yesterday and so I guess I'll show you guys that stuff. Some of the stuff I've already put away but I can show you some of the stuff I have here. Um, I'm going to do dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner we are doing the Hawaiian like sliders so we're i've got some ham i picked up yesterday and i have different cheeses that we bought last week for a cookout we had some good friends of ours come over for a cookout so we've got some different cheeses so i thought we'd do like some ham and cheese sliders maybe some soup um we'll see but um yeah so that's what's up for dinner tonight cole has martial arts tonight so i'll be making dinner early so he has that i need to pick up the living room the dining room um, I've got some school of coals I need to check and I really, 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 really want to tackle the classroom. <laughs> I, uh, I just, I just need to go through it and get stuff put. Like, like I said before, a lot of that stuff for now will go into Mike's closet in his office until we figure out what I want to do in that room, how I want to do storage, all that kind of stuff. I think I know. I think I know. I think I finally settled on something, but that's going to be a ways out because it is going to involve some cabinetry. And, uh, you know, I've got other things in the house that I really want to get done first, like get these doorknobs switched out. I want to get those switched out and I will, that'll be coming sooner than later. Um, but I want to get that done. And then for them, and then the island, the kitchen island, guys, I am ready to get this thing done. We're starting to like the next week. I think next week is supposed to be in the 60s. I do believe it calls for rain, but we have a garage, so we could totally cut wood in the garage. Um, and I need to go price out stuff. I'm a little afraid to do that because I know things. We haven't really bought any wood since everything started skyrocketing. Um, so we'll see. Because we need to get some two by fours to put down the center for like support and some other things. I don't want to give away too much, but I have it sketched out, ready to roll. And um, yeah, so that will be coming here pretty soon. I may start, I may do this project next week, but you guys won't see it till like the week after. So in a couple weeks, maybe you guys will be seeing my kitchen island redo. And at that point, our kitchen will be like almost complete. There's some other projects that I'd like to do that will come in the future, like you guys, I'd really love to get rid of this and do like one of those hood vents, you know, and have like, you know what I'm talking about, make the, get rid of that cabinet, but I'm going to make it, I want to make it to where you can utilize it as a cabinet, you know what I mean? And then the microwave, you know, we get rid of the microwave and just get a regular microwave. We do use our microwave a lot, so I don't know, that's like, I mean, we do have... And don't judge me, guys, because my pantry is a mess right now. Because, like I said, we've been running out of room. We do have plugs back here. So I totally could put the microwave in here. But that would require 
taking up space in my pantry and possibly moving these shelves because I don't I don't think a microwave I don't know microwaves you know they come such a long way that maybe a little microwave can fit in there I just need something that can warm up water honestly what do we use our microwave for warm up water for like tea and occasionally warm some leftovers up I don't really cook anything in it um, so a small one would be suffice, you know, I don't usually put anything large in it. There's sometimes well, I'm not like talking and stuff, but you know, yeah, that's just marble. But anyways, that's in the future, but I wanted to show you guys. But other, like I said, once we get this island done and get the hardware put on, the hardware and the hinges on the door, um, I think the kitchen will be set. Like, I think all of my dues for right now will be done. I mean, eventually we'd like to move this light over a little bit so it's center in the island. Um, but for now it's fine. And then the light, you know, cause we spray painted this light gold, which I'm actually, <laughs> I actually like it. Like I know it's build a grade, whatever, but I actually like it gold. Like it just, it just adds just enough gold. I want to get kind of a, um, we're a light that like, like a pendant light that comes down a little bit, but I want it all glass with gold so it's see-through. I want, I like everything transparent so light will just travel through it. That's one thing with this house, it's like, I want to keep it open. I mean, it's open, but I mean, I want it to be kind of like simple and clean <laughs> looking. So I don't want a bunch of stuff on the walls. I don't, you know, I like having that like tunnel so you can like look all the way down. Um, you know, next, like another major project in this room would be to do the faux fireplace thing. So, but for now, I'm happy with what we have. I'm content. <laughs> Um, we just need to get this island done. That's the one thing. The island and my kitchen table. But I have to wait for it to warm up pretty good for that because we're going to be sanding the table and staining it, I think. Or I might paint it and then my chairs might be painted. But the main project in here is get the, this island done because it's all raw wood and just, you know, kind of sticks out. But that's okay. You guys know what's going on. And if you're new to my channel you don't know what's going on, this used to be... My actually laundry table and when we moved in this house I was like oh my gosh that is perfect for our kitchen because the kitchen didn't come with an island we have a build a grade home so everything you know the kind of I would say the the up it not the up um what do you say it like I would say like the more expense type thing was in our countertops because they're granite but other than that you know you have like you build your cabinets you know they're not like the fancy super nice wood cabinets um which that's fine for me we're not rough on our stuff and maybe years 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 down the line we'll, we'll want to replace them or I need to replace them and that's fine but you know we wanted something with brand new bones solid bones that we could build upon and customize ourselves because that's just going to save us tens of thousands of dollars had we had a home built with custom you know it yeah i'm i'm not spending that kind of money i want to have my money for me and my family to go do things that we we are not the type of people that want to be house poor there's people out there that are house poor because by the time they pay their house payment they have no money left <laughs> and they go into debt and they live off credit and that is not our goal that is not the way we want to be but anyway stop rambling so now that i got this up i'll show you guys the groceries that we got we'll get that put away and then I'm just gonna move down the line. I need to check some homework real quick, then we'll go into the living room. And then we'll go start some laundry. And then I wanna start tackling that room. I have a very special project that I'm filming separately that I would like to do today. I may not get to it, but it involves the tree over there. Do you see it? Yeah, the tree's going back. So you guys know what that means. If you've been following me and you've watched about, what, two, three videos ago, you know what's going to happen when that tree, where's it at right there, when that tree goes away. I'm sending it back tomorrow. So, stay
stay tuned because you guys know what's coming. You know what's coming. So, all right, I'm gonna get off here, get this put away. We'll do a quick, I'll show you guys quickly what I got and then we'll move along with the video. Okay guys, so this is a mixture of Aldi's and Walmart. So we needed, sorry it's pain you guys, let me get close. Okay, so we needed tortilla shells. Those came from Walmart. Um, I got these chef, chef covered cheesy scallop potatoes. I got two boxes of these. I got three boxes of the julienne potatoes. This would just be, I have like, I think I'm going to do like a quick, easy dinner with these. I can add some ham, you know, whatever. Breakfast, you know, juju them up for a little bit. Something quick and easy. Got some saltine crackers because I have a recipe I want to do with that. Some French onion, the fried onions. Those came from Walmart. These came from Aldi's. This all came from Aldi's. Um, I needed some better than bouillon. I love this stuff, you guys. I don't buy broth anymore. This stuff works. You just add water and it's perfect. It gives it a real nice beef flavor or chicken or turkey. I've had the turkey as well and it's really good. I don't buy any more broth. Maraschino cherries because I am making some pineapple upside down cake. Some lollery salt. I've got a recipe for that. A chili sauce. Hoisin sauce. Some more stewed tomatoes because we still are in that time of season where we still do have cold days and um, like a chili, meatloaf, that type of stuff is perfect. And then I got some big cans of green beans and then I got three of those and then I've got some Belgian waffle mix because we like to make waffles up and freeze them and then some panko. And then for tonight, these came from Aldi's, um, some sweet Hawaiian rolls. I've never had them, but you guys, these were like a dollar something. And at the store, these are like three bucks, three plus bucks. So I was like, oh my gosh, I've seen these and I'm like, yeah, I know what we're having for dinner tonight. And let me take you into the refrigerator and see what else. Okay, so in the refrigerator, I did get some chocolate donuts from Aldi's because the boys like to have those for like a sweet snack. And of course when I was at Walmart, I got me some Reese's eggs. I like, I know there's like, people have particular ways of eating their Reese's. Me, I like mine cold. I, oh my God, my hair is a hot mess. So I like mine cold. I'll talk about my hair in a minute. I like mine cold. I don't know, it just makes it more like fudgy-ish, I guess you could say. But I love my Reese's Pieces cups cold <laughs> not frozen just cold so you can bite into them um but yeah so today i'm just doing an updo got a lot to do hairsprayed it put a minimum the only makeup i have on today is mascara but this is bare face age spots and all that is today that is the life i did get some new makeup um that i'll share with you guys um i'm not sure quite how to pronounce it it's that e il mica Makamiki or something. It's Italian. I seen it on Instagram. Like every time I was on Instagram, it popped up. Facebook, all that. So I'm like, I'm gonna try it, and I really like it. So I'll talk to you guys about that another time. So if you're interested, check it out because you get to try it for two weeks. And let's just say I'm keeping it. So, but what else did I get? I already got the lunch meat. I told you guys about that. And I think that's about it that I got for the refrigerator, other than like milk and. All that kind of stuff. And honestly, I don't think I put anything away. <clears throat> bread. I got two loaves of bread because at all these, you guys, bread is only like 97 cents or something like that. And at Walmart, it's like over a dollar. So I have not. Been <laughs> I was going to make bread and, you know, I didn't. And I need to because it's so easy. It's so easy to make bread. And it costs like cents. I'm like choking on my own air. <coughs> Woo! I'm choking on my own air. Holy smokes. Oh gosh. Okay. Woo! All right. Sorry, you guys. If I, I was like, you didn't see on camera, but I literally just had like a coughing fit. I inhaled. Oh yeah, look at me. I look like a terrible mess. Oh, you guys ever do that? Like, 
you breathe and you choke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, thank see, and this is why I wear waterproof mascara because my face is all splotchy now, babe. Whew. Um, because you never know when you're gonna choke on air. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, back to the bread. Oh, you guys, I need to make my own bread. I just need to make it. It's so simple, but I have it. Goals, right, to get there, because literally it costs, okay, 97 cents. It would cost me like 10 cents to make a loaf of bread. Hello, you know, so, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much, oh, and then Cole wanted Cheez-Its, but you guys, Cheez-Its is expensive too. Even, and Walmart didn't even have the Walmart brand in, so I got these cheesy turtles <laughs> from um, Aldi, which they're really good. We've all snacked on them, but other than that, I think that's it from stuff I had to get, so. All right, so I'm gonna go check the homework, and then move on to the rest of the house. So, all right, let's get moving. The sun's trying to come out. Let me see if I can show you guys some grass. See if I can zoom in on some grass. With this, oh, you see it? See that little bit of grass right there? It's coming up slowly but surely. There's a big, big chunk right there. And like right up close to the house here, you can see the little bits of grass coming up. But we have... Quite a go, let me see, go back here. You can see all that water. I don't know if you guys can see it. All the water that's in the woods back there. So it looks like that's designed for water to go because, <clears throat> and it kind of goes, let me pan back, guys. So it follows, oh, look at that squirrel go. So it follows, like this whole back thing right there, you can see where it floods. That becomes like a river. And it like pulls right here and there's a berm on the other side over there so we're probably gonna put a berm because it started coming this way like right on the edge there build a berm <clears throat> because sorry because right here is where our sheds going so we're gonna have to build that up a little bit too so it all stays down there and then goes back there Never a dull moment, always something to do, even when you have a new build home. But hopefully, soon you guys will have grass. Hopefully. Show you guys something. So I like to move the ottoman over because you can see it gets the sun. And the cats like to lay up there, but look at Oreo's watching the squirrels. And the storm is passed out, you guys. He is so cute. And Oreo is fixed on. So he didn't budge that whole time that I moved the ottoman over there. Oh, what do you see, bud? What do you see?
so that timing was perfect my battery on my camera my, my vacuum battery died and I w was walking out to tell you guys that I'm gonna go plug it in and my camera battery died so now we got a fresh battery and actually unloaded some stuff on my memory card so now the downstairs is done so it's picked up um, the floors are done the living room is picked up so that will be like that until tonight so i'll vacuum again and i'll mop tonight because i haven't mopped in two nights so i'll mop tonight so that'll be done after dinner and then yeah so now it is it's three o'clock <clears throat> i need to go switch out laundry and then um i think i'm gonna start on that room you guys i think i'm gonna start on it i went and put all those groceries away off camera sorry guys I know I was gonna show up, but you guys see me put groceries away before. But I really wanna get to that room, so I wanted to save some fill time for that. So let me go switch out the laundry, and then I'll meet you guys back in my front room. Okay, so it is 5.30, and what have I gotten done so far since I let go of you guys? Um, not much. <laughs> um, I had to help Cole, one of Cole's classes is veterinary science. It's one of his electives that he's taking and he needed some help with studying so of course he comes first so i did that so now mike had went to the gym he should be coming home soon so cole has martial arts in a little bit so i need to start in dinner so right now i'm going to get ready to prepare the sliders so we're doing ham and cheese sliders tonight for dinner and i was going to do a soup but i think i might do just do some chips and stuff with it and just kind of make it like an easy dinner I think I'm gonna cook up a vegetable as well. I'm not sure which one, but gotta have some veggies in there. And that will be dinner, a quick, easy dinner, something light so that Cole will have energy from food, but yet he won't be so full that, you know, he gets sick because he's doing all special art. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll take you guys with me after that, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use convection 350 in my oven and get that going. Make sure I don't have anything in there. I just have my foil in there. So we're gonna get that going and then prepare the sandwiches. Spending time like it was going backwards. This is covering the walls, but they fall down. Diving deeper in the books that we read blind. Breathing in and breathing out to get smarter. It is 6.34, dinner is done, so I ended up doing the sliders, which are not really good, so I just did ham, and then some provolone, and some white-aged cheddar on it, 
And I put a little bit of Japanese mayonnaise on it. I grew up, my mom, when she made grilled cheese, putting um, like mayonnaise on it and then cooking it. And my hair is a holy hot mess. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so I put some Japanese mayo, which is really, really good, you guys. It kind of, it has uh, more egg in it, so it's a little bit more of egg flavor. It almost resembles like a deviled egg. I mean, it's so good. But it really kicks up those sandwiches like a notch because of that. And then I took some, I cooked some um, broccoli in the microwave. Yeah, I steamed it in the microwave. And then I threw in the air fryer for seven minutes and I sprinkled some Lowry salt on it. And it, so it got all crispy. I put some, I sprayed avocado oil on it, then seasoned it, put it in there. It was delicious. But I am so full now. We'll be leaving here very shortly to go to Cole's martial art class. And I did not get to <laughs> my room like I wanted to today, but that's my focus for tomorrow because I definitely want to start that. I need to package up my tree tomorrow because the tree is going bye-bye. And all right, so we're getting ready to go and I'll see you guys in a minute. Kind of money on my mind,